March is Women's History Month, and today we're honoring the 13th president of Jarvis Christian University. Dr. Glennell M. Lee Pruitt has worked at the university for 12 years and was unanimously selected by the board to replace Dr. Lester Newman when he retired. Dr. Lee Pruitt will be the second woman to serve as president and the first woman since the school became a university. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good I'm, to be here. Thank you so much. So now that you are president of JCU, what is your vision as president? Well, we want to continue, of course, the great work that Jarvis has done historically for 112 yeah. years. Uh, we do want to be known as the AAA University, where we're accessible, approachable, and available for our students. We want to continue to serve the students that uh, traditionally have come to Jarvis to ensure that they have a wonderful experience and, and will be able to leave Jarvis and move forward uh, with their careers and with their lives. Uh, what I say uh, about Jarvis that we always want to be the institution where we accept students the way they are are, but they cannot leave the way that they come. And so we're just hoping to expand, of course, academic programs and just make sure that we touch every student and make that. a difference in their lives. Absolutely. And as a woman in leadership, um, what can you say to other women during w Women's History Month that are breaking boundaries in whatever industry that they're in? I think the first thing you should do is to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. uh, be who you are. Uh, don't feel the need to imitate uh, anyone else. I happen to be a person who believes that God has given us everything we need. Uh, and as I often say to young women on the campus of Jarvis Christian University, you are enough. Yes. Everything you need, you already have. And so I, don't, be, don't be afraid to try something different. Mm -hmm. uh, if when the opportunity for leadership uh, is given, mm -hmm. jump into it and take it. And, uh, and learn as, as, as men do, yes. uh, you know, on the job if yeah. you have to. So I just say, be who you are, believe in yourself, and when there's an opportunity, when a door opens, step into it. Absolutely. Now, March is a huge month for the university. Can you tell us about the upcoming events you guys have? I sure can. There's a lot going on in March at Jarvis Christian University, especially during our homecoming yes. uh, week. Uh, and we're going to start on that Tuesday, uh, which is the 19th, with our Founders Convocation, Reverend Danny Cartwright who is a member of the Board of Trustees, but also a, a pastor in the uh, Disciples of Christ denomination. She's going to be our convocation speaker. That. On that Thursday, March 21st, I will be invested as the 13th president of Jarvis Christian University. That will be at 10 o'clock. We're very excited about that, especially excited because the first woman president, Dr. Sabetha Jenkins, will be there to be a part of the ceremony. Awesome. So we're very excited about that. Then on Friday, we have our gala. Our gala is one that supports our students with scholarships. Awesome. Uh, and we're very excited about that because we also recognize community and alums and some of their contributions. And then on Saturday, it's the homecoming tailgate. Yes. Uh, that's when we'll be out on what we call the yard. <laughs> All, right. All right. I feel like it's going to be so much it's fun. It's going to be wonderful. A week full of events for you guys. Yeah. Dr. Pruitt, I want to say congratulations on you and Thank your you. new journey with the Thank JCU. You. And uh, we're going to go ahead and send things over to Savannah Hill for a look at that Friday forecast.